the war in Lebanon is fought amongst the trees and hilltop communities which form the border with Israel. It's a battle of strike and counter-strike, fast growing in intensity, and tens of thousands have fled. It looks deserted. Can't see anybody. We'll see if we can find the, the local priest. A small number remain, including civilians in a Christian village called Alma al-Shab. We couldn't find the church, but we did find Milad Eid. What's it been uh, like today? It was very worse. It's getting this worse. Is, oh, my God. Mr. Eid runs the local guest house, seen here, but at least it hasn't been hit. Well, here, you can see the roof yeah. over there. And all the glasses get. Even we have there, all trees are get burned. Israeli fire has smashed into outlying districts where factions like Hezbollah have been launching their rockets. In response, Israel has tried to wipe out their cover, according to villagers, trees destroyed by artillery fire and white phosphorus. It's quite a sight, uh, acres and acres of burnt land, olive trees, fruit trees, and there's a cliff behind it. It's blackened. It's olive harvest time as well, but they won't get anything from these trees. And the tank, you can see the tank from here. The sense of the dread never leaves. The water tank. A shell has punctured their water tank. The tank over there. Yeah, I can see it. And there's a constant whine in the air. That's the sound of a drone. It's very loud, and there are aircraft as well. You know the Israelis are here. It's, it's just that they're above us, but it's, they certainly make their presence felt. Its remaining inhabitants now gather at the local shop. But I tell you, we are not afraid, we are afraid. You won't know. You won't know what's happened. Maybe now we and come here, who knows? Mr. Consul says they're caught in the crossfire of someone else's war. This, this battle, does it feel like it's... We have nothing war? to do with it. You know, this is the problem. Nothing to do with this war. But actually, it's happened. What can you do? Yeah. This is the church, the village church. The door's open. Hello. Monseigneur? We found him outside. Father Ghaffari leads a congregation of a hundred but there's only six left now. It's not easy to live. Uh, we must stay. I'm not suicidal, but the situation is bearable. If we leave our village, it could turn into a battlefield. Hezbollah is increasing its operations. The Israelis have threatened an unimaginable response. The residents of the village say it's like living on top of the volcano. John Sparks, Sky News, Alma al-Shab.